Hi guys, Jessica here. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how to use a cane, walker, and crutches. First thing before using a, any of those assistive devices, make sure that your home is safe. What I mean by that is remove any throw rugs, move any cords that are on the ground, anything else that can result in a fall. Arrange the furniture in the room so that you're able to go in and out of the room with ease. There's no obstacles in the way. And make sure that the rooms are well lit so that the floor can be easily seen by anyone using these assistive devices. First, I'm gonna talk about crutches. Now, crutches are what you use if you have an injury or surgery that requires you to get around without putting any weight on that effective limb. So, when you're standing up with crutches, the proper positioning is you stand up straight, the top of the crutches should be about one to two inches below your armpits. You don't want them all the way up because that can result in pain or injury, nerves and blood vessels are underneath your armpit. You don't want any damage to that. The hand grips of the crutches are about hip height. They should be at the top of your hip line. And when you're holding the hand grips of the crutches, they should not be so low or so high that your arms are completely extended or they're completely bent. The elbows should just be slightly bent when holding the hand grips. Now when you're walking with a walker, the first thing that you do is lean forward slightly. Put the crutches about a foot in front of you. The assistive device should always go first before you start moving because you have something to lean into. So put the crutches about one foot in front of you. Start walking as if you're gonna use the injured foot or leg first, but instead shift your weight to the crutches. Bring your body forward slowly between the crutches in front of you. Finish the step normally with your good leg. When your good leg is on the ground, move your crutches ahead in preparation for the next step. And you'll just keep repeating. Always remember to never look on the ground as you're using your crutches. Always look forward because that could result in injury or falling if you're not paying attention to what's in front of you. Next, sitting. If you wanna sit from a standing position using crutches, back up into a sturdy chair. What I mean by that is use a chair that doesn't have wheels on the bottom so that you can put some of your weight into that chair. So what you're gonna do is back up into the chair, put your injured foot in front of you and hold cru the crutches in one hand, both of them. Use the other hand to feel behind you for the seat of the chair or for the armrest of the chair. Then you're gonna slowly lower yourself into that chair. When you're seated, make sure the crutches are in a nearby spot next to your chair. Lean them next to you so that you're able to reach for them when you're ready to ambulate again. Now, when you're ready to stand up from a seated position, scooch forward to the front of the chair. Hold both crutches in the hand on your injured side. So say if you have a right foot injury, hold both of the crutches on your right hand. Push yourself up and stand on your good leg, on your left leg. So when you stand up, you're standing on your left leg, then put the crutches on each arm. Then you're ready to go. Next thing is, say if you have to get up the stairs when you're using crutches. This requires some strength on your part. When you're facing the stairway, hold the handrail with one hand and tuck both crutches under your armpit on the other side. When you're going up, always go up with your good foot first. Keep your injured foot raised behind you. And when you're going back down, hold your injured foot up in front and take each step down on your good foot. It's really hard to walk up and down the stairs with crutches, especially if you have an injured leg. You, have, you need to use the handrails, use your own body strength, um, so it would be beneficial to make sure that you have the strength and handrails before using the stairs. Next, I'm going to be talking about canes. 
Canes are helpful when you have like minor problems, like if you have some stability or balance issues, um, if you have any weakness, injury or pain. It's not like crutches that you have to have two of them. A cane you just use really for one side. Um, especially for elderly, they use canes, especially if their balance is off. Um, when you use a cane, it helps the elderly live more independently as they age. So when you're standing up ready to use the cane, stand up straight and the top of the cane should reach the crease in your wrist. So just like when you're using a crutches and holding the hand grips, that's where the cane should start as well. Your elbow should be slightly bent. Also, when you're holding the cane, it shouldn't be completely extended or completely bent. Hold the cane in the opposite side that needs support. So what I mean is, if you have a right leg injury, hold the cane in your left hand. So when you're starting to walk with a cane, make about one stride or one foot distance between you and the cane. Put the cane in front of you step off your injured leg and finish with your good leg and keep walking like that cane in front injured leg then good leg when you have to go up the stairs with a cane put the hand put your hand on the opposite side of your injured leg with the cane so just like my example before if you have a right leg injury put the cane in the left hand with your free hand grab a hold of the handrail on the stairs Set up your good leg first. So step up, good leg, then step up, injured leg. So cane in unaffected side, good leg, injured leg. Then to come back down the stairs, put the cane on the first step, then with your injured leg and then your good leg. So going up, it's good leg, then injured leg, down, injured leg, then good leg. Next, I'm gonna be talking about walkers. Walkers are good when people have a significant problem with their balance or stability. And a lot of people use them, say for example, if they had a hip replacement or a knee replacement, they need more help with balance. And a walker can provide them with balance better than crutches or a cane. So walkers usually have four legs and they'll give you the most stability. It's made out of metal and to make sure that um, the walker is good to go, make sure all four legs are even, make sure the bottoms of the legs are even as well and they're not torn or used up. Um, with using a walker, you use most of your body weight into the walker. So positioning with a walker, you're gonna stand up straight, the top of the walker should reach the crease in your wrist. So just like the cane and the crutches. Your elbows should be slightly bent as well when you hold the hand grips of the walker. Keep your back straight. Try to walk as straight as you can and don't hunch over the walker because if you hunch over the walker, that could result in a fall and you could fall into the walker. Now, when you start walking with the walker, the first thing that you have to do is just like with the crutches and the cane, Put the walker one step ahead of you. Make sure all the legs of the walker are on the ground that not one side is tilted. With both hands, grip the top of the walker for the support. Move your injured leg into the middle area of the walker. That's moved forward. Don't step all the way to the front. Push straight down on the hand grips of the walker as you bring your good leg up so that it's even with your uninjured leg so that you're ready to walk. Take small steps when you turn. Don't move so quickly, move slowly. Take your time with it. Now, when the person using a walker wants to sit, to sit just like with crutches, back up into a chair until the legs touch the chair. You can feel your calves on the back of the chair. Use your hands to feel behind you for the seat or the sides of the chair. And then you slowly lower yourself into the chair. Don't use the walker to sit down. Always use a stable chair to go in to sit. Now, when you're sitting in the chair and you have to stand up, push yourself using the strength of your arms and the chair. Use the chair to get up. Do not use the walker 
to help you stand up. Because if you grab the walker to help you stand up, the walker can tilt forward and you won't be able to get up. And that can also result in further injury. And I know I talked about stairs with canes and crutches, but with a walker, you can't really go up the stairs. You should use an escalator or an elevator when using a walker. Thank you for listening to my information about crutches, canes, and walkers.